Hi, Michael Goh here doing a video for a Milky Way post process using Lightroom only on an entry level Nikon camera with an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. As you can see in the settings, I've shot at ISO 3200, 18 millimeters, f3.5 for 30 seconds. 30 seconds is a little bit longer than if you'd have applied, say, the rule of 500 or rule of 600, which you'd be looking at about 22 seconds. But in the scheme of things, it depends how large you're going to show the image. Well, if you zoom in, you can see the star trailing. In this, uh, zoomed out, the, uh, it's not too evident. Unfortunately, in this instance, I've neglected the foreground because I was just doing some test photos at the time. Going into the editing, first off, I'd like to do a lens profile correction. Helps to reduce the lens distortion. In this case, I'm going to brighten it up a little bit, probably about to say 1.5. And normally I'm shooting at f2.8 and ISO 6400 on my full frame. I know that brightening up the image will also result in a little bit more noise. Now the majority of my processing at this point of time is actually just doing curves. And what I'll do is I'll change color balancing a little bit. Might cool it off a little bit more. And that's probably about uh, 80 or 90 percent of the post processing I, I can actually do regarding some of these images. And then it just comes into doing a lot of uh, smaller refinements here and there. I don't usually use Lightroom for my post processing, but a lot of it's actually just moving the sliders back and forth. Normally, I wouldn't do adjust contrast too much because the uh, a lot of the contrast is dealt with through curves. There's no foreground interest here, so there's not too much point in uh, adjusting the, sli uh, the shadow slider. The whites and the blacks just help make it a little tiny bit punchier. Clarity, I'll come back to that later. Um, I don't like using the clarity slider too much. A lot of the, the saturation comes out of the changes in the curves. I tend to remove sharpening a lot of the time. I actually localize sharpening uh, for the foreground interest. I'll just put in some noise reduction. It's always a, uh, being a bit careful about doing the noise reduction because if you put in too much noise reduction, it, you lose the definition of the Im in the image. Of course, it, hey look, it's an almost noiseless image. Just shift, uh, just keep shifting a few of the curves a bit, a little bit back and forth, just seeing what I'm comfortable with. Now I know with the the Milky Way, the, you can, there's a little bit more bluish around the sides after all the curves adjustments. Might actually reduce some of the saturation a little bit of of the blues affects it around the top frequently just because of some light pollution that I was dealing with at the bottom here I might actually adjust some of that down or even localize it with a, a brush
and I'm relatively comfortable with that. You can also change some of the uh, the curves and more de in a more defined scope. Just to make sure you've got your colors in the right areas that you want that you want you can see a few little hot pixels here and there which you can of course just fix by using a, a variety of methods now going into clarity the interesting thing about clarity on a milky way image is that if I show two extreme examples, I'll go to this side, increases the contrast around all the stars, basically brings out all the fainter stars as well, and it makes it look a very noisy image. If you put it down too much, it looks very dreamy. Now, an interesting thing with clarity is if you zoom in a bit here, and just reset to zero, you can, now just looking at all the faint stars, if you increase the clarity, it brings out all the faint stars, whereas if you reduce the clarity, it causes a lot of the fainter stars to, to diminish, which means that you can actually, uh, it brings a little bit more focus on the, uh, on the Milky Way itself, and on the bright stars, so it makes it a, a less noisy sort of image. I like my Milky Way to have the blacks looking a little bit black. There's also something that came out on Lightroom for dehaze. Again, you can increase it to the extreme, and it, it just the contrast causes the Milky Way to be obscured, and you can't see anything. Similarly, it can be used in a similar way to your clarity in terms of, of making things look a little bit dreamier, remo removes a bit of the noise. It's really just a question of taste. Okay, that was my very, very quick Lightroom edit for a Milky Way.